The overall goal of the following experiment is to effectively induce a cytotoxic T lymphocyte response targeting a tumor-associated antigen in bladder cancer. This is achieved by inducing bladder cancer in mice that express the human tumor-associated antigen, MUC1. Next, a peptide vaccine is injected into the mice, and a MUC1-specific cytotoxic T lymphocyte response is generated. Then, the serum, tumor, and spleen are isolated, and the tissues are analyzed for cytokines, antigens, and immune response, respectively. Utilizing Western blot, multiplex fluorometric microbead immunoassay, immunohistochemistry, and ELISE spot analyses allows us to test the efficacy of a peptide vaccine against bladder cancer. Hello, I'm Dr. Gregory Wirtz, a research scientist at the University of California Davis Health System in Sacramento, California. The main advantage of this technique compared to existing methods like xenografts is that xenografts require immunocompromised hosts whereas our model utilizes an immune-intact transgenic mouse that expresses a human tumor-associated antigen that is the target of the peptide vaccine. Demonstrating the techniques with me will be Daniel Vang and Drs. Chao Jung Gao and Audrey Gutierrez, all of whom are fellow research scientists in Dr. Michael DiGregorio's laboratory in the UC Davis Health System. Before administering the first dose of N-butyl N4-hydroxybutyl nitrosamine, or OHBBN, to induce bladder cancer, perform a submandibular bleed on each mouse to collect whole blood in blood clotting tubes and allow 30 minutes for the blood to clot.